Hey, yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to some more of the How'd You Be episode 53. Last episode, uh, we asked a little group date, Brother Epo. Well, first of all, it turns out, well, I think they took the whole nursing staff out on dates or whatever, but regardless, turns out Kumi is like a, uh, I, maybe a nurse in training or maybe, I, I don't know what her title was, but turns out she... Uh, was working in the hospital that Epo was in, um, and they kind of got to talking, and pretty much they had them a nice little time, you know. Epo got to, you know, see her again. He also saw Mashiba. You know, Mashiba's getting ready for his title match that's coming up. Obviously, Epo got his title match coming up, and Takamura got a title match coming up. Like, there's a lot going on, so I really enjoyed just that whole little episode. Like I said, it was, it was just chill. You know, it's just a little, little group bowling date, you know? <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to this episode. Let's just go and hop on into it. Oh! No, I can't watch it! Who is that? Oh, Date. あ、6年前の状態にはまだ遠く及ばねえがな。うん。遠く及ばない。29歳。休む現役最古さんの衰えて当然だ。ビスタンが<笑><笑> He said, I'll pity Makanochi. Man, don't save your pity. I can't. I ain't gonna lie to you though. The animation in this episode is a little different. Ag Date falls in Mexico. Wait, when he said retired, did he mean that he lost? Not retired from boxing. Oh, he lost in the second round. One minute, twelve seconds. Hmm. I mean, but it happens. But then you see how far he came, though. Mm. Bro. That dude who he fought against was, must have been the truth. What? Oh, so he did retire. When we got there, it was oh, is he reminiscing about? I'm get. Yeah. Nah, remember that loss. Oh. That's where the so dang that fight left a permanent mark on him. So it's definitely hard to forget. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> so I wonder because if Date was so good here, how just how much better was that uh, the dude from Mexico? Oh, matter of fact, wait, did I know Date had a kid? I knew he was married. Cause I remember the first time he like showed up, he said he was married. Cause I think Takamura said something about the way he was dressed. They know he had a kid though. Oh, so he's like a little bit of 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 a little bit Ooh, is that part of the reason why he retired? Because he lost this and the whole weight of the parents' acceptance and all of that? What did she say? Mm. Well, we already know how that turned out. I wasn't expecting to get like a dot. Mm. 
I want to... Mm, bro, I can't even finish my sentence. Bro, okay, yeah, he was just outclassed. Like, this... It was clearly a one-sided fight. <laughs> He's still young, and that's why he retired. Maybe he... Just that... That 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 loss did more damage to him than even the coach realized. Mm. Okay, she. Oh. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Because he was boxing. Oh, his wife didn't want. Wow, now it makes sense why he retired from boxing. Because his wife, he wouldn't want his wife to think that boxing is more important than her or the child's life. Or, like, wow, I don't blame him. I don't. I'm. I'm curious as to why he came back. Okay, so they they did have another kid. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wife feels like the guilt because she feels like he gave up his dream. Are you happy? I mean, Dante just doing what he got to do to take care of his family. You know, I, I, don't, I don't fault him for that. That's an easy decision, honestly. Okay. But that don't mean it ain't gonna haunt him. Oh. That dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see why that would haunt him, man. But y'all ain't sure to drink in a while. Hmm, okay. But what is how does she really feel though? Oh, his brother. Oh. His brother-in-law got him this job. Oh, okay. But he got that constant reminder on his dang old nose. Mm. It must be But they're boring, probably. It's just the same old thing every day. Whoa, 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 my boy. Hold on now. Pump the brakes. Hello? Mm, hear it all. This is, this, is, this is what he's been wanting to say for the longest. That I miss boxing, but he settled to take care of his family. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's like you here, but you ain't here. It's like you here, but you ain't here. She never, she never truly got her husband back. No, you ain't. No way they hit me like this, but I'm also happy at the fact that yeah, it hit me. <laughs> I'm happy with what Date has accomplished since this whole conversation. Like, climbing his way back up to a featherweight champion and still aiming to go after that world championship belt. Like, he may be on a decline, but I mean, come on. He's definitely accomplished a lot. Hey. Oh, I'm loving the flashback. 
Like we saw brother, we saw brother Date on the, you know, lose himself in that fight in Mexico. But now he's trying to claw his way back. Yay. Yeah. That's what's up. Bro, look at the maturity on that boy. He said, I no longer have to be clean shaven in the office. I'm scruffy. I'm ready. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he gonna make you feel something. Uh, uh, not that. You ain't, you ain't doing trainer count? What you about to do then? Mm. Mm, yeah, but I, I, I do not fault him for this. Like last time I was gone, you know, like I lost my first, my, my first unborn child. Like, you know, wait, it's February. What about January? I thought... Okay, Takamura's fighting. Okay, did I miss something? Was it... He's over the limit? Wait, so that means he can't fight? Three ways in three hours. Right. Right. Mm. Oh, I'm watching. I'm watching Takamura. You better cut that weight, but I hope he's gonna be good. That last minute. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. This ain't looking good. This ain't looking good. Bro, I ain't worried about you, Date. I gotta go talk to Takamura real quick. Yeah, when you got energy and food in your system, but. Okay, we'll see. What? Bitch, don't, don't pull up to me saying my fist light. I'm gonna make you feel some heavy fists. Keep playing. Wait till I match. Keep on. Don't let him get in your head. But I'm assuming like that whole, all of that, everything he was saying had to do with like the fist of a champion. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can watch this either. I can't even watch the opening. I definitely can't watch the ending. But damn, I don't mean I don't watch endings like that e anyway. But I definitely was about to watch that. That they came in with a dum, 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 dum. but anyways, you know I, a lot was said in this episode. Um, I really like the whole Date flashback, but I'm assuming what Date was saying because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I I low key blacked out as they were talking <laughs> because I was still, I think I was a little bit still in shock at the fact that Takamura passed out. Like, I didn't really even know what to think in that situation because it's like, okay, he, he, he failed his way in. He had three hours to try to cut a little bit more weight. He passed out in the sauna, but he made way in. Like, listen, I, I, it's like, it's crazy to me when I think about it. Like, okay, Takamura is, he's fighting in middleweight. He does all of this to cut weight and to fight in middleweight. Why doesn't he just stay in heavyweight? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Stupid question, stupid question. I forgot because I'm pretty sure there was no competition in heavyweight, I believe. I don't remember. Um, so that's why he always has to cut and fight middleweight all the time. But I just feel like Tak Takamura would probably be a monster if he didn't have to cut weight all the time, at least to the extreme that he does, because he, he gonna have a lot more power. But, you know, I'm, I'm hoping something, maybe whatever's going on with this situation, with him, like I said, passing out and all of that stuff, like maybe, you know, I don't, things have changed. And then I thought, I thought Chief was mentioning like episodes ago about finding him like, like a couple fighters from other countries to fight and I don't know man but regardless 
I'm obviously rude for Takamura. Want him to do well, but that that whole situation with the weigh in kind of got me a little worried. Um, but I feel like I was gonna say something about the Date calling Ipo's punches light. I think it has something to do with the fact that again, champion fists are heavy. You know, you know, champions they fight with a different level of like, you know, like I don't want to say pride, but you know, they they got a lot more on the line, you know, so they ain't gonna just be throwing like you know punches that ain't gonna mean shit they gon' they got them punches got purpose so i'm assuming that's why he said ipo's punches are light you know um but yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this match with takamura goes uh i love the flashback with date i really did like we saw him like we saw him challenge a world champion lose bad to the point where it it didn't necessarily make him retire it was the circumstances of that match or that followed that match. Honestly, it might have been the match as well that forced him to retire. I mean, his wife was in the hospital. She told the doctors them not to call him because, you know, she didn't want to she didn't want to like distract him or want them to distract him or whatever like boxing was important and it's like as a as a husband, as a he would have been a father, you know, if they didn't lose their unborn child, but it's like you got to get your priorities in, in line then and you got to be like okay hold on because at the end of the day you know my wife should feel comfortable calling me whenever and know that i'm gonna pick up you feel me or that message is gonna get to me like you she she shouldn't have felt like you know it was like i get like she knew that was his dream that's cool i understand all of that but you know that whole situation just made him realize like oh yeah i gotta i gotta put my family first so you know he retired and for three years you know he was just working an office job obviously he hated it because he still had that dream of being a boxer and you know his wife had to let him know it's like yeah i'm happy you know you here we raising our our son all of that stuff but it's like you never truly came back it's like you might be here but still part of my you know my husband is still in mexico you know like so she she had to let him know like this what you want to do is box follow your dream i'm good your son is good like <laughs> you don't got to be worried about us so and then you know second match back you know got got the, i think they, they say he, he won the, the 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 championship belt like he started making waves so i i just like that whole flashback it definitely kind of low-key made me root for dante a little bit more but you already know <laughs> all about brother Ebo, yeah, yeah, me. <laughs> um, but I'm just I, I know this match is gonna be crazy. I know it is. I'm looking forward to it whenever it does happen. Um, but like I said, first things first, we do got the match uh Takamura's match first. I'm just hoping it goes well, man. So hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all enjoyed my my little ramble at the end of this one. Um, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.